Okay, here we go from the top. Vivir en el Caribe, pero vivir contigo. Tener una casita y una hamaca en el río. Los fines de semana te llevo a Cartagena para que todos los días tenga la piel morena. Que ya le puse tu nombre Se esconde atrás de la sierra Bajo un par de ceibas y cerca del monte Sembré cinco tamarindos Y cuatro palmas de coco Y a cada una le he dicho Pa' que florecieran que me ya te imagino mi vida Dentro de este mundo inmenso Corriendo loca de risa Mientras te persigo Pa' robarte un beso Vivir en el Caribe Pero vivir contigo Tener una casita y una maca los fines de semana te llevo a Cartagena Para que todos los días tenga la piel morena Ya caminé por la playa Y me adentré en los manglares Recogí cien caracoles para hacerte a la vuelta un par de collares ya te imagino mi vida Me vuelta entre hojas de palma Con el sabor de las olas Y el olor del viento Por todo tu cuerpo Vivir en el Caribe Pero vivir contigo Tener una casita y una hamaca en el río Los fines de semana te llevo a Cartagena Para que todos los días tenga la piel morena ¡Óyelo! This band is definitely what you would call a, a labor of love. And having 16 people for the rehearsals, the uh, shows, even just, you know, writing the arrangements. You definitely have to, to love doing that. And for me, it's, it's, it's a dream. Really on top of the beat, without rushing, of course. Right? This is really a song for, for, for everyone. And it's also a story about wanting to, to live a simpler life, you know, in, the, in, in a little paradise in the, in the Caribbean. Vengo de ver una tierra
This is where we're coming from. And this is where we're bringing it to. I don't think anyone else is, is doing what we're doing right now. We're trying to find a balance between the simple and the complex, the old and the new. Is there, can we hear the, the, the first chorus without, without the background vocal? Sure. I'm very fortunate that we worked on this, on this song with uh, producer Juan Pablo Mantilla. I'm arranging this music and he comes from an orchestration and composing uh, side. Very, very small details that in the long run make the song you know, so much finer. I'm pretty surprised that, that, that I've been able to find so many amazing musicians that are such great uh, team players and that they understand that it's about the music. It's, you know, it's like gravity. It makes other musicians come close to that and, and, and it spreads the word. They put a lot of, a lot of trust in me and that's, that's something that I very much uh, I cherish. We chose um, um, uh, MSR Studios here in, in Midtown in New York City. And a big issue, of course, was the we, had, we needed a, a nice, large space, comfortable, where we could fit the whole band playing at the same time, so we would really keep that live sound, that live energy. You know, we really wanted to keep it as natural as possible. We're keeping very, very much um, in touch with, with the people who like our music, and uh, some people actually came to the, to the studio, and I gave, you know, a little bit of that natural, warm, warm spirit to the song. Hey! It's all about the people that are, that are, you know, the fans and the people who are supporting. That's, that's the bottom line. It's okay? Yep. Okay. <laughs>